Hi everyone, welcome to the Quantum Bridge and this is uh, something a little bit different again for you. We're having a breaking news kind of moment to do with XRP and the court case and uh, we finally have some clarity. So is it a good day for you Casper? Hello mate, um, I know we haven't got long so I appreciate that you're straight in there, it's a good That's start. It. Uh, I wouldn't have said it started well but this is uh, this is interesting news and for us as both of us spoke about off camera for a moment before we jumped on this, this is more of somehow a, a sort of spiritual release as part of our overall journey. And I think a lot of our viewers, um, a lot of our viewers <laughs> will will feel that too, hopefully, that this is a type of breakthrough that just feels like the pendulum is swinging back in the right direction. Um, I don't know how you feel about that, but my sense is is, is that. And, and also, if you don't mind, um, I know a lot of people know all about this and much more than either you or I do, because mm. we're not massive crypto people or whatever, but we're interested in that area at least. Um, what what actually had been happening? So there was there's um, a coin, a cryptocurrency, whatever you want to call it, uh, an asset this is this is all the stuff that was being spoken about what is it classified as anyway um that has been in a hiatus and uh, i think you know more about that than me so if you don't mind mate yeah yeah i mean not yeah. like you said not usually because we're not steeped in crypto it's just it seems to just be part of this journey he has got a shiba t-shirt yes <laughs> but yeah it was, I guess it, it came into our sort of consciousness around this whole, you know, the last few years of everything that's coming together. Um, so today, I think there is still more in the court case to be settled, but it's now the first coin to have full legal clarity. Now, and this is the Securities and Exchange Yes, Commission that's right, the SEC. In, in the US. And, and that, that's what makes this so important. Obviously, the US being mm. the bastion or the go-to for many of us in terms of what's really happening on a massive scale. And in terms of the, the coin itself, it is something that a lot of people on more of the fringes, I'll just use that term, have been excited about for a long, long time because they believe that it has capabilities and things underlying it that are more than just the sum of its, its parts, mm. so to speak. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So it was around, I think it was December 2020 when, um, I mean, at the time, I mean, I'm not like a big holder or anything, but I mean, <laughs> but I just remember at the time I, I I had a few other little bits and pieces and, and they were talking about doing this flare snapshot and it would match your XRP. So I thought, well, I'll, well what I'll do is I'll, I'll move the little bits I've got into XRP, get the <laughs> snapshot and then yeah, you know, move it back because I don't really know what I was doing. So, <laughs> so I'm not, um, but then what happened was, you know, I I did that, but I didn't get to move it back because it. They said that's it, no more trading. It's going into this court case, and I was like, well, that that's a bit of a pain. So yeah. again, that was one of the big exchanges. So one of yeah. the big crypto exchanges that you would trade on just decided you're not doing that anymore. It didn't freeze on every exchange. Is my understanding of that. Um, I know that you and I have tiny forays into the world of the, the stellar ecosystem. Mm. And we have been able to move the small bits that we've got, tiny fractional bits of XRP that we have. Um, we have been able to do things there. But pretty much on these mainstream um, exchanges, there has been real difficulty, hasn't there, doing anything mm. in the last, well, is it, I suppose it is three years now. It is pretty, yeah, almost, yeah. It, and it was... Um... Yeah, it was a difficult time because then there was no sort of free trading on it. So you're like, well, it's not on the open market. What happens? I can't make money. I can't really move this that much. It was it was a tricky time. But I have to say, and it's just my own self, <laughs> intuitively, I I it ended up feeling good about that. I thought, well, hang on. They whatever i just felt they want to slow this down and and tie it in with other events so whether i'm right or wrong about that i don't know but, but it's just how i felt i felt I, thought, I could see things stacking up and I thought they need to go at a certain time and, and pace so i thought well maybe this just needs to be put on hold 
and then they can hold it indefinitely in this court case thing <laughs> until they feel that somehow maybe something else in the background has been resolved. Uh, and we do always talk about not dates, but events and things like that. And I think we've had some significant stuff, like when we had the passing of the Queen, very tied symbolically to finance. You know, her, her head is on a lot of, certainly a lot of money, not every country, obviously, but a lot of currencies around the world. I think it's very symbolic at that time. So I felt, okay, maybe something else has happened. And gradually things move on and here we are now. This could be another nice little marker for us that things are released and moving forward in some way. I don't know if you feel the same about that, mate. Uh, yeah, I feel exactly the same. I wanted you to not, to finish up without me interrupting you, that's all. But I feel um, that, again, this is another, and, and maybe that is pertinent in hindsight with this date. I don't know. Um, what are we at today? What is the date today? It's the 13th, isn't it? It is. It's my dad's birthday. So, Well, there you are. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Hello, Nicky. Hello, Nicky. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you're having a good one. Um, yeah, that, I think that that is, all of those, these things feel like there's a level of crescendo around them, that there's a level of synchronicity. Um, and of course, we're going to feel that. We're going to feel that whether that's quote unquote the truth or whether or not that's our truth or just um, falls in with a paradigm that we believe is emerging here, hopefully a new one and one where everybody in the world We'll find that um, a far a far better one. But I think just to end this off, we weren't going to do this for long, but we were we were all buoyed by this, both myself and you. I'm sure other family members and people, just mm -hmm. even if they're not in this, just because they know that XRP has been inextricably linked with the sort of events that, that we've had and the way the world has gone recently. And it does seem to be at least the potential of a sort of shining light within the finance um, area. And a new epoch, you know, a new a new world uh, in those terms. So I think it's just, it's very important for us to just, because we can, we do have a platform, we can turn things around quickly. It's just to say, look, it appears that there's a lot of people out there. I'm looking on the exchanges myself just to see what people are saying about it. Mm. It's just this huge groundswell of, um, of positivity. And that in itself, let's, even if we park the crypto mm. aspect of this, everything else, just the fact that I'm looking out into this social space, this digital space, and seeing a real change there. Even if it's just momentary, it's just a, I think that's a good yeah. thing for us all to I, celebrate. You know? I felt that early. I thought, well, this is a lift for people, you know, something, because sometimes we're just like, just give us one thing, one good thing <laughs> that something is moving maybe in our our direction, you know. Just, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I feel this is significant today for us. So, you know, congratulations to the holders if they are. Uh, I mean, even beyond that, it's just nice to see another cog turn. <laughs> yeah, in in right. the uh, the story so. in the in the new universe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. So exactly as you say, for anybody that this can affect positively, and for whom has taken you know some level of additional gumption to move on, on to the next level, seen that as a bit of. Uh, the wind behind them instead of pushing against them in the face all the time. We would felt like that this morning. We hadn't had the greatest of days, mm -hmm. either of us. And to end the day with this sort of news, more so for others, actually, mm -hmm. more so just that I hope a lot of our network and I hope a lot of our, our, our viewers, those that watch us, um, are actually, you know, either actually directly affected by that or I hope even indirectly affected positively. And I think just to be able to say that for once and come on with some some lovely news, it's a great thing. Yep, fantastic. Right, so we are going to do a proper update mm. um, probably over the next few days, maybe um, even. Um, so that will go out after this. But um, in terms of this and just saying what we felt in our hearts we needed to say, which is weird when it's about something that is sort of linked to money, that that should be anything to do with heart and not to do with greed but it really doesn't feel like that to me no. um yeah it's good yeah. all right fantastic so, take care see you, mate. nice to see you go and enjoy your uh, kung fu that you don't actually ever do 
Um, no, it's just more like a, you never do. A, chat, no. a chat and things, really. Yeah. Cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> it's okay. a tea ceremony. Okay, right, mate. No, that's Japanese. All right. See you later.